Mkomazi is Tanzania's newest national park, gazetted in 2006. With its virgin breathtaking beauty and immense sense of space, it forms one of the most important protected ecosystems on Earth. Mkomazi National Park is a 3,500 square kilometers spectacular wilderness. Animals roam free between Kenya and Tanzania without limitation of the country's borders. The dry open savanna gives home to many animals and numerous predators. Like jackal and the elusive African wild dog. Mkomazi has a tumultuous past. Before being granted the status of national park, there was a lot of severe hunting and poaching, which understandably has made the animals shy, but with growing numbers of harmless visitors, the animals will get more and more used to cars. The name secretary bird is borrowed from a French corruption of the Arabic sekr et which means hunter bird. Although it can fly, it spends most of its time on the ground hunting for insects, small mammals, reptiles and eggs. Secretary birds have two distinct feeding strategies. They can either catch prey by chasing it and striking with the bill, or stamping on the prey until it is stunned or unconscious enough to swallow. Mukamazi is a bird watcher's paradise with over 450 bird species like many hornbills, doves, weavers, guinea foals, and migratory birds like the Eurasian roller. Large ground birds stray the savanna like the southern ground hornbill and the ostrich. This terrestrial bird is very common in the Kamazi National Park the yellow-necked spur foal. In the heat of the day, it resides in the shadow to be most active at dawn and dusk. They are generally found in pairs or small groups, often on dirt roads, searching for little insects and seeds. In 1990, due to poaching, only 11 elephants were left in Mukomazi. Today, Close to 1,000 elephants range freely across the reserve. They are often called red elephants 
but the color of their skin is no different than that of other elephants. It is just down to the red soil that the elephants use to cover themselves with during their dust baths. Almost unbelievable, but these little rock hyraxes are related to the big elephants. They are usually found in rocky and mountainous terrains, where they can dig for shelter and live in groups of up to 80 individuals. Although they spend most of their time resting in large huddles or basking alone, they are most active during daytime. Basking is an energy conservation mechanism that is essential for survival of rock hyraxes during the colder months of the year. These behaviours serve to help regulate body temperature, as hyraxes' body temperature fluctuates with ambient temperature. When dry season arrives in Mikomazi and the sun brings water holes like this to a minimum, all animals gather around the little bit of water that's left. All animals depend on the last water holes when water is scarce. Zebras prefer to drink daily and often make their way to the water during the day. But they are always carefully on the watch for predators. Their dependence makes them stay around these water holes during the dry season, but when the rain season arrives, you find them everywhere. This tiny creature is a dick dick. Only 60 centimeters high, they are hard to see in the thick bushes. They're always seen in pairs, for dick dicks live a monogamous life. Because they are so small, they are often seen as a good snack for animals like martial eagles. This eagle is Africa's largest eagle and is found wherever food is abundant and the environment favorable. Its preferred habitat is the sami desert and open savanna, just like the leopard tortoise. The leopard tortoise are found throughout savannas of Africa, from Sudan to the Southern Cape. They are often seen motoring in the slow lane of the park roads. A very attractive shell pattern provides them with very good camouflage in its natural home range. This one is relatively small, for it can grow over 50 centimeters, weigh up to 30 kilograms, and live for more than 50 years. Makamazi is a park in development. Because of its safe and stable environment, the numbers of animals are growing rapidly, making the park a much-needed bridge between the northern circuit and the coastal attractions. <laughs>